Hi, I'm Anil Kumar and here is a test question for you. You need to figure out whether these two figures given to you represent even functions or odd functions or neither. That is the first part and then you have to also decompose these functions into two different functions and then algebraically prove your answer. So that is your question, right? So I hope you understand the question. So we have two graphs, A and B here. So question number one is, find whether they are even, odd, or neither. And the second part is decompose as two functions, right? Decompose as combination of functions and prove your result or answer, okay, in one. Okay, so that is your question. So you can pause your video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestion. Now, one way I can decompose these functions, okay, let me first answer even or odd part, and clearly when I look at it, uh, this particular function is symmetric about the y-axis, so this function is even. However, this is symmetric about the origin, so this function is odd, so that part is very clear. Now, we have to figure out how to decompose them into two different functions and what combination results into even or odd. So as this function starting from the origin, it looks like a sinusoidal wave starting with zero. I could say that f of x is equals to sin x. Another thing which I observe is increasing linearly, right? So, so it's increasing, right? Uh, but what is also happening here is that that on the other side you if i combine it with a line for example then the line is plus x now if i multiply then what do i get so i could do two things let me let me write down the functions first so one is sine of x for us and the other one is is a straight line and if I multiply with a straight line, in that case, if I multiply with a positive number, I kind of scale my things, right? So they become positive and positive. But on this side, I'm kind of scaling, they're becoming positive and negative. Okay, so that is, that is what I observed. So what could be that function? Okay. Let me leave that for the time being. You think about it and let me know. Here, Again, let me say this is sine function, f of x equals to sine x. Okay, that's good. Now, what is g of x? g of x could be a line since it is riding over a line. So, so that could be the case. Now, okay, so that riding over a line gives me a hint that superposition, right? So, it is superposition okay so riding over a line that makes more sense so i think this part is clear g of x should be a line and since going through the origin i will take this line as x now superposition when we talk about then we are talking about a combination which is plus or minus right now since it gets added up i think my function h of x in this particular case is f of x plus g of x that makes sense. So I have a line here and on that line the sine function writes and I get this function. Oh, that part is very clear. Okay, so I get that part. Now I can also prove that these are odd functions since I know that sine of x is odd and x is also odd. So when I combine these two odd functions, h of x will be odd. You can prove it algebraically. I can leave that for you. Okay, so we've done one part. Now here what? Well, one hint is that we have an even function here. So could it be that we are multiplying it? If you multiply it, 
then 0 times anything will be 0, 1 times, okay, and when, so it gets enlarged, so negative sign where it gets enlarged, it makes sense. On this side, the line is negative, but when I multiply with sign, which is negative, it makes positive. Perfect. So, so it makes sense. So that is that I'm multiplying this. Okay. So the function is g of x equals to x, but in this particular case, let me define the function as m of x, which is f of x times g of x. It makes sense. Negative and negative, when I multiply, I get even function. Okay, great. So this is what my function is. So what I have here is a combination of sinusoidal function and a linear function individually both are odd functions but when I multiply them I get an even function as you can see right and in this case I have sin x and cos x both are odd functions but to get the odd function we kind of added them and tested our result so that's a way to come down to the final answer so I kind of shared with you the thinking process which could help you to answer such questions in the test paper. I hope that helps. Have a better look at it. This is, this is one of the best questions on your test papers and you can expect it many times. Probability of getting this question is very high. I hope that helps. Thank you. Now, you can do as an exercise, it's combination of sine or cosine functions with exponential functions. Now, exponential functions are neither even nor odd, so any combination you do, you will get neither even nor odd in those combinations, okay? But they are good to sketch and practice. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.